in, all I did was have the key on and I ran the battery dead and I charged it up and I gave my customer, you broke my stop start. I didn't touch your stop start. Well, yeah, you did, okay? You charged the battery that didn't go through the IBS. Will stop start start working on its own again? Yeah, but it takes three days for it to relearn, okay? So what we, we do is we're gonna have up in the top here, we've got your IBS and your battery, and if you click on that, we're gonna give you the overall charge rate. So we're gonna tell you what is the state charge. The IBS monitors temperature. It's a shunt on the negative battery cable. You've seen it on our vehicles for several years. So the, 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 the kicker is, is you charge the battery one of two ways. If it came in with a battery issue and stuff, I don't have a choice. I'm gonna reset the customer's stop start and I just have to warn him up front that, it's, it, that your stop start isn't gonna work for a couple days until it relearns. But if I'm just charging the battery, how do I avoid resetting stop start? You need, you'll, you'll need to connect directly to, 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 to the plant if, if, if you're going to, to have a battery issue. So if I'm doing that, I don't have a choice. It's what we call blind charging. If you are hooking your charger right to the battery, you're blind charging it. The computer doesn't know you're charging it. The IBS has to monitor current going in, current going out of the battery. So what is the proper procedure underneath the hood? Where you jump start it or? Um, yes, I'll show you. Just, just give me one second. You're, you're, you're one step, you're one slide ahead of me. Okay, so if you want a, a description here of, of the IBS, again, go into your service info, it will describe it. So the second method, if it wasn't brought in for a battery testing, here, here the address here is, is, when you look at the IBS here, and you look at the clamp, you want to hook your charger right here. Or the jump post ones. Jump post ones well, don't always work the greatest. The jump post, you gotta, you got to get to the battery. If that's the case, again, it's not the end of the world, but be aware of it so I can tell my customer that, hey, stop start is not going to work until it relearns. And that can take a couple of days for that battery to get fully charged. So what we call blind charging is when you hook right to the post, this is a shunt that it, it, is in series. And all, all of our vehicles are running, so you, you want to charge it on the jump posts, or just connect it to right here, then you're okay. Tell you another trick is if you want to, if you want to avoid losing all your stop start data, <laughs> unplug the IBS. If you unplug the electrical connector here, then it will, it, it knows that it's unplugged and it will resume right back where it was. So the other way around it is disconnect it here. Then it, it, it won't have to totally relearn. It's when you blind charge it by putting the charger there, that's where it causes problems. Does that answer your question, Andrew? We're good? Okay. Do you recommend a